Right, okay. Garbu sent me a thread. And the thread was called... What was, mm-hmm. the, what was the thread even called? Basically, le- basically Lesbo Punk. Uh, so I was like, right, you know what? And Garbu was telling me this ages ago. Do you want to just, like, look at, like, Thirsty Sword of Lesbians? Because that was, like, a big thing. And they're all kicking up about this new one at the minute. But, like, honestly... Candela Obscura. I, I just... See, the idea of keeping up with, like... See, like, Twitter drama, it's... It's, well, it's, for so, one, it's so homo. It's Candela it's, Obscura is, is is rolling around the cast of Critical Role, so obviously it's going to be a fucking steaming cesspit of drama. Yeah, so that's going to be a no from me, unless you guys really want it. Um, I don't actually know much about Thirst of Sword Lesbian Bar. It was made by, I mean, Evil Heart, uh, which do other... Uh, no, <laughs> no. It's yeah, like well, gay mm-hmm. spaceship games. <laughs> oh, like all the gay spaceship games. What you can see that. <laughs> what the <laughs> Jewish uh, space lasers and gay spaceships. Let's isn't, go. What, what's the one? Gay from out of space. Right. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, like, look, I don't even know what. Thir- like, I've, I, okay, I know a basic gist of thirsty sort of lesbians, but honestly, I've kind of like avoided it, and I'm kind of happy that I have avoided it. But um, I'm man of the people, I suppose. So, look, that's. Let's see what this is about. Like, what? You, what even is the system? So uh, the that, system is no uh, less. Your, your standard RPG. This is the. Uh, so this big ass fucking blurb here is just a bunch of word salad about this. Like, hold on, let's see here. <clears throat> this is a game where people make up stories about wonderful, terrible, impossible, glorious things. All the characters and events portrayed in this book are fictional and worth celebrating. And, and we're. <laughs> Portrayed in this work are fictional and worth celebrating. Any resemblance to real people is purely coincidental or is possibly a Mary Sue self-insert character. If you feel called out by the playbooks, that's between you and your therapist. Like, it's just... Uh, it's, it, 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 it's, it, it's so, like, tug-and-cheek, hee-hee, sweetie, you know. Like, is, it, like, honest to God, is, like, therapy as big as what people make it out to be in, like, America? Like, is it, like, a standard thing that, like, everyone goes to, or what? There or? is a severe lack of therapy in America, my friend. Yeah, well, th- therapy that actually works, I think. You know? Um, I, I feel like, well, you know what, I don't really want to get into that, but I do think, to a certain point, like, what you think of as traditional therapy doesn't really work. It works reasonably well if, for women but it doesn't seem to work very well for men and i don't know if why we had more if we had more therapy be a lot less fucking fin boys wearing rainbow socks that's all i know bro. <laughs> um, maybe they'll be encouraged not oh here by the way also my facebook group's been infested with fan boys like thirsty ones at that <laughs> like i mean thirsty ones and the problem that i've got is like ravenous ravenous no they are they're ravenous. like i'm not even joking they're multiplying as well it's like what are you guys at but the problem i've got is i'm really i'm really against like banning people you know what i mean i'm like it's good to see jake nick beardia on his finboy rancher <laughs> look, all i'm saying is the guy needs to just calm down like i mean like he's posting like garbage just go on my facebook group and just have a look yourself and you'll see I am it's not why do you going there why, I, why? I am not getting put on that fucking watch list well you don't want to go put on the watch list go on go on the watch list. there's only like too many as it is there's only like one or two government agents on there maybe one of the moderators who knows you know so okay so s- scroll down the page right. five and we'll do the we'll say the introduction this right point. okay uh, right okay so Page five. Here thirsty, we go. Thirsty, yeah. Thirsty sword lesbians battle a tyrannical ruler when her enforcers march down from the frosty north. They rocket through the stars to safeguard diplomats, ending a generations-old conflict. They sip tea together and share shy glances at the corner at, at the corner cafe <laughs> until they. <laughs> Ooh, at the corner cafe. Ooh, oh, 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 makes me tingle. <laughs> what? Why? Why is James and Garbrose? So- um, <laughs> you know, I got until- that. The, I got that the other day. I posted on the community tab, so I did a video about buck breaking. Me and Megan watched. <laughs> me and Megan watched the buck breaking documentary. So we did it on Gumroad, and then some guy commented, "Like, why are you guys so hateful?" It's like, look, all I'm saying is, it's black supremacist theory. I didn't come up with it. I'm the guy that wrote it. T- definitely has like a fetish. Like, that's all I'm gonna say. The guy that the guy that made Tariq, what, what's his name? Uh, he definitely. Although at the end of it, they actually did bring up some really good points. I must say, like you know. After all the homoeroticism that is, at the end they actually did bring up some good points. So I'll give them that. 
you guys are hateful. It's like, I don't know, I kind of agreed with some of it. <laughs> okay. So even in conflict, they seek peace with their opponents and sometimes connect more deeply than anyone expects. Your thirsty sword lesbians may be fantasy heroes and may inhabit a galaxy of laser swords and starships. Anywhere that swords cross and hearts race, thirsty sword lesbians are there. You know, I feel like thirsty sword lesbians would fit really well in the Avengers chult. <laughs> so, <laughs> and you know what, Garbo? Do you think you could put for thirsty sword lesbians into uh, Veal Riders? The collab we always needed the fucking thirsty yeah. sword lady Bill Rider fucking mingle. Yeah, like honestly, I feel like you know what? I feel like I need I need to make a supplement of just shit that I know you would absolutely despise. So George Bush has to go in. <laughs> uh, th some thirsty sword lesbians have to go in. Um, average Twitter users have to go in. Um, all, I, I, I've got a few ideas. You, you're gonna have to wait and see. We'll do we'll do shadow moves first. Like, uh, is there anything else even worth looking at on this page, or do you want to just keep oh, going? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, 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 once I read it, you realize what, what why I read this. A sword duel can end in kissing. A witch can gain her power by helping others find love, and an entire campaign can be built around wandering matchmakers flying from planet to planet. Whether it's an entire planet, a nightly order, or just a coven to which the protagonists belong, they are part of a community that embodies important ideals worth fighting for, even as you strive to make it better. Misogyny, transphobia, racism, and other forms of bigotry are not the norm here, though they may be the norm some el be the norm elsewhere if the players wish to confront these issues. Uh, I was wondering, I was like, honestly, would that not be like the, the dedicated like bodies? In this set, more or less, you know the de the the bigger he knows, you know what I mean. It's the like... the Republican planet must fall, <laughs> my gentle lady. Yeah, yeah. Oh my word! So right. as a thirsty sword lesbian, you can change the world for the better by acting with integrity and compassion. Fight when something is worth fighting for. Redeem or seduce adversaries. Make out, dance, and corral. <laughs> Solve problems with courage, wit, and style. Deliver zingers and bon mots. Uh, make lasting friends and enemies. Ready? Let's go. Yeah, I do all that on the daily. Anyway, what are you guys on about? That's like that's like my mm. standard game. Like every single one of them. So I mean, like, what, what is it? <laughs> all right, so go scroll down. It. What what is this book? All right, what Thirsty is it? Sword Lesbians is a role playing game oh my for God. telling <laughs> queer stories with friends. It, this is literally like the antithesis of this. Only white people play this book. This book is literally like it's for queers only. No straights allowed. What makes it? What makes a story queer? Like, and what is actually the difference? Like, what? What does queer mean? Like, right off, like I, I, I get gay. Well, I get no, lesbian. No, no, but no, what is no. queer? So I mean, hi historically, queer just means odd. That's all. Yeah. Queer, that's all. It's queer has ever meant. Like, technically, I'm fucking hella queer doing my fucking, <laughs> my, 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 my fucking neighbors. Yeah, but, I've, got, yeah know, I've got kind of queer team, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, but... Uh, you think that's be serious? If you like RPG books, you're kind of queer. Yeah, you're kind, you're kind of fucking queer. Uh, but is this the, the episode the name, we, the we all learn? In fact, we are all, in fact, a wee bit queer. It's okay. But more or less, the the, the, the term got co-opted by the gays. The gays just fucking took a word. It's yeah. It's now. Same way that I took the word weave and made it by myself, you know, so what we do. <laughs> All um, right. It's a, it's, like, it's, a, but, it's, a, it's a word of empowerment. Here, did you see, actually? Yes. Did you see que this? I, queer. Er, the, the term queer is the gay's inward. Much yeah. Like. No, you know what they're doing now? So they're trying to make yeah. um, neurodivergent um, be like a slur now. So they are. They're trying to like label it as like a slur because they're trying to, like, you know, the way it's like more of like a scientific term than anything else. It's the same way that um, retard became like a slur, if that makes any sense. Because like before, they were using words like well, idiot to describe these people. Well, and first then, it was idiot, moron. You yeah. Know, it was all these fucking words. And, and then retard. So then they use the word retard to like the place be like more. Uh, polite about it does that make sense and then later of course turns into you know what i mean um so here there we go we're on maybe in a hundred years neurodivergent will in fact be a uh a, a serious no-no word who knows but i thought that was an interesting one though i thought i might and mm. i'm not going to be able to bring it up anywhere else so uh will we keep going or <laughs> so, do you want to look at yes. do you want to look at these hold sweet on, ass hold on hold on hold on if you love angsty disaster lesbians with sores you've come to the right place even if you've never played a role-playing game, this book contains everything you need to learn how to play and run the game, including some scenarios to get you started and guidance to how to create your own romantic adventure. 
So right. let's just scroll down to these fucking absolute queens here. So do they have like ERP levels or what? Or yes, they're. I, I'm pretty sure they're down here somewhere. Okay, playing the game. Okay, so, so how do we you know, play the game? Bring, so playing the game, um, the game begins as soon as you gather with your friends and are ready to bring your imaginary world to life. Some groups find it helpful to use a ritual to signal that the group's focus is moving to the game, <laughs> such as lighting a candle. I'm, but bro, I'm just <laughs> I, I read this at. 2 a.m. and I was like, I, I, I need more beer. Like, I, I, I was just fucking chaining cans reading this. I like to hear about yes. It's just so like the creepy you must, have your, you must have your ritual to signal that the group's focus is moving to the game, such as lighting a candle, starting some background music, or summarizing what happened in a previous session. Why they start with ritual with the lighting of a candle, I don't know, but they did. They're setting the mood, Garbo. So, They're setting the mood. Yeah. And you know what's going to so turn into the bucking session anyway at the end? That's a point. It's a good, good sag. Session. Yeah, good bucking or a good buck breaking session. All right. So basically, feel deeply, feel your character. There's a safety consent form on page ten. We'll, oh, we'll, we'll fucking get there. All right. Okay. No, no, no. We'll, we'll get. We'll get there. All Don't right, rush it. Fine. You, 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 you can't skip more of the cringe. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. So stand for justice and liberation. Many problems faced by thirsty sore lesbians can be solved by talking or flirting, but not all. A lesbian has never flirted with me to get me to move out of traffic. Don't, don't <laughs> Not yeah. everyone is redeemable, and when motions flare and blades clash, you may find that your opponent is too set in their ways, mm. too comfortable with injustice, or just or is just unrepentant. The PCs aren't perfect paragons of virtue. They can be gay disasters. They can be flawed <laughs> people. But the very, <laughs> but at the very least, their story arc should be should see them growing to stand for admirable <laughs> principles. I'm gonna Flirts start. Zingers. <laughs> I'm gonna start calling the uh, the fanboys in my Facebook page fucking gay disaster gay disasters. <laughs> so <laughs> you do not have to be witty or good at flirting in real life to play a character with those skills or to emulate those things through role play. The keys are collaboration and communication. If you're not sure what kind of romantic approach will be welcome with another character, you can simply ask their player, gossip with about them, character, try to figure them out using the game mechanics. Garbo, so, yeah. sucker deck. What are you doing? Well, don't worry. They have a whole <laughs> thing of flirting ideas. Oh, do they? Oh, that right, yeah. okay. Is this like so? Um... He, so here, so here's their idea of flirting: uh, invite them closer, share drinks, show interest in their sword. Ooh, woo. <laughs> uh, meet their eyes with a fiery gaze. Tilt their chin up with the point of your sword. Discover there's only one bed. Toss your hair in slow motion. It's it's. This is basically like every romance novel ever. Yeah. So oh, safety this... and consent. Here we go. All right. To okay. tell it. To tell like them. Safety and consent. Me. War crime table. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, to tell dramatic and meaningful stories, everyone involved needs to know what they are safe to do. The game invites you to get invested in the characters and have complicated, potentially vulnerable feelings and explore queer identities that are frequently targets for abuse in broader society. Because we're just, we, we out here just hunting gays out here. Bro. <laughs> yeah. Every day is open, open gay sale. I fucking love hunting down living in the street with my fucking, art, like, fucking lever action rifle. Fuck uh, Eric, like, all I'm saying is if you want to hunt some, <laughs> hunt some fanboys, you can fight and be like shit, <laughs> shitting in a barrel. In my feet. You're like that guy. He's like, my my field is full of rabbits. Someone's going to kill these, these fanboys hopping around. Like, yeah, that's, that's, that's exactly what it is. I'm not even joking. It's like, it, it feels like there's at least no because one of the guy it's one of the guys is just hardcore at it. I mean, like every hour of every day, he's posting something, and then like some a, a few people have just jumped he on them. Some gay shit, in my yeah. Time. He keeps <laughs> and, he, and, and, and you know what? It's spreading. There's more people starting to do it now. I don't like. Oh yeah, that's true. Then <laughs> it's been a fault. Like we were, we already had one resident gay fella, and he was like I was happy with my one resident gay fella, but now we've got man, God damn it. <laughs> I'm willing to bet that gay guy is fucking angry as shit. Like, who are you fucking people? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was here first, for God's sake. <laughs> this is my... <laughs> I'm the only... What, what, have you ever seen that little button? I'm the only gay in the village. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty so much. basically, this is a safety consent form, you know, uh, about making, making sure you're safe while playing the game. Don't overtax yourself. Uh, oh. No fascists or bigotry alike. Yeah, this, the, is, this is this is my this is my favorite one. Hold on, right, my okay. favorite fucking passage. You know, because me and you are hardcore bigots and we hate all gays. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
So if you so if you look at the bottom of the picture there, it says no justice, no peace with a being with a police car being destroyed by appears to be a sexual lesbian werewolf. Nice. Very cool. So nice very, girl pity. Yeah, very uh very windussy of you, my friend. <laughs> so no fascist or bigots alive. Alright, so do to I play Thirsty Sword Lesbians, you must support this just this, this, I want you to try and I want you to try and listen to me read this and not start frosting at the mouth. Okay. You must support racial liberation, intersectional feminism, and queer liberation. I mean, I would, ar I would argue that's already like a thing, if I'd be honest with you. <laughs> Like, like guys, literally, we're like, I, I, I literally don't, I don't fucking care. I, 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 I feel like honestly, like, racial liberation, intersectional feminism, and queer. What do they, what do they want? Like, I, I think we got that. Like, you know, you know that picture of the guy who's like pretending to drown, but he's sitting on the bottom of the fucking pond with his face sticking up in the water. Yeah, yeah, sure yeah, yeah. All right, what's up next? What's up next? Respect, respect, tra respect <laughs> transgender people, not binary <laughs> people. <laughs> Intersex people. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm sorry, I couldn't tell. <laughs> have, have you ever have you ever seen uh, have you ever seen that uh, American werewolf in London? Or you yeah, know, like, yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah, that's that's exactly what's going on here. So, like, oh, I get it. So, I get the werewolf night. Yeah, that makes sense. Actually, that was a good so, idea. Everyone knows me and you. We always laugh about it because we are probably the least bigoted people on this fucking platform. But yeah, well, who, you know, who, people who people who we know, they at least get the joke, you know. Yeah. It's, all, it's, all, it's it's all it's all it's all how it's all how that just a bit of banter, you yeah. know. It's just all it is. So I mean, respect racialized people, respect black, indigenous, mixed race people, and other people of color, except the color white. You, yeah. Different. All right. Uh, okay. Respect sex workers. No. <laughs> respect disabled people. No! I am taking. <laughs> I am <laughs> taking the extra large stall. You cannot stop me, <laughs> Garper. You not disabled. Come to think of it. I I am a disabled veteran, and I will take those parking spaces to make fatties walk. <laughs> all right. Yeah. I do it all the time. I have no shame. If 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 if, 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 if I'm at Lowe's. Also, big T up to the guy that comes to I like when he's something like a porky pig. Yeah, I'm glad my brain injury makes you laugh. <laughs> yeah. But if I'm in a parking lot and I see a fat guy trying to jones in on a handicapped parking space, I will gun past him and steal that bitch so he has to walk. <laughs> I mean, I'm not... a bigot, and you cannot stop me. <laughs> I will. Uh, <laughs> I just like to imagine you just like put, just chucking people in a wheelchair, like, you know, <laughs> car park. <laughs> well, what are you being so lazy? Get up and walk, mom. What are you doing? Just, just, just chucking people. Out. <laughs> yeah, just get, 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 get out of that. You're, you're being lazy, mom. Get, up, wise up. You can use your legs for God's sake. You know what I mean? <laughs> You'd be fine. You'd be all right. What's all the garden about? Jesus Christ, guys. Uh, anyway, so disabled uh, people respect migrants. Respect no, re re respect immigrants, oh, not uh, migrants. What's the difference? Re respect lesbians and other people with queer sexualities. Respect other people's experiencing poverty or homelessness. That's so out of fucking pocket. Uh, okay. Respect the homeless. Uh, No, stop doing crack cocaine and meth while you're naked on the sidewalk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Respect neurodivergent people because oh, those are the awesome oh, spectrum. I'm oh. telling you, bro, like, this whole thing's here. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Respect fat people and people of all body types. No. <laughs> you won't make me. No. I will never respect the fats. <laughs> no. <laughs> right, okay. Who else do we have to respect? Not demand that any anyone educate you about... I mean, actually, oh, look, I don't care. Yep. Just keep going. Yep. Just keep now, going. Now, hold on. Now, hold on. This is a message to, to, to James. If uh, you don't agree, fix your heart before sharing a table with other people. <laughs> um, no. Okay, next post. Let's just keep going. <laughs> this is, no. Safety oh, tools. Safety tools. I don't care. I'm keep going. I don't want to. The no, X card. We're, no, we're, 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 I don't hold, care. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're not even 20 pages in. I'm skipping. It's... I don't care. I already know enough about the X cards. I don't need to hear what these people have to say. Like, core goals, right? Okay, so how many pages? 15 pages in, and now they start talking about the actual goals. Now, yeah, what is this? 15 pages in. No lore, no like that. It's just fucking, like, Virtue fix signal. yourself, sweaty. Sorry, right. chuddy. <laughs> so 15 pages of Virtue Signal before we get to the core goals. Let's see. Are they any good? <laughs> Uh, so when certain situations arise in the story, you pause the conversation to roll dice. 
This is called making a move, and each move is a different trigger trigger condition. <gasps> trigger. Oh. <laughs> trigger. <laughs> <laughs> so each PC has access to the same basic moves, plus a few more and features that are specific to playbook they choose. Whenever they, whenever you roll, roll two six-sided dice and add them up. All right, so, so it's two six. Right, so. All right, okay. For a number between two and twelve, you often add a stat like daring or grace, as denoted by a roll plus daring or roll plus grace. So if your daring stat is one, roll plus a daring by roll. It means two six-sided dice and add them up and then add one. All right, okay. Say so this is all d six. You're, you're so trying it's... to beat. There's upbeat, mixed beat, and downbeat. You're all trying right. to beat a number. All right, so it's definitely. Which I I actually quite like. I I do this, but for like D twenty beast systems essentially. Well, D D six is anyone can do it. You you need just two fucking literally yeah. yachty shaker dice you can play a game. Which I get. But then I again, like th th this game is not made to be crunchy. It's made to be like a fucking self insert. I'm the yeah. most popular lesbian in the world game. So yeah, they're kind of taking the the lowest the lowest common denominator of a game system, which is two D six. That, that's not. It's I'm not, not bad. Shut, no, uh, it's fine. Well, I like. I'm, I, I'm not throwing shade on 2D6, I'm saying, but that's the most basic way you can play a game is you got to beat a number using 2D6. I am starting to love 2D10 systems, I must say. I am actually... Oh, are you really? I'm, I'm starting yeah. to... Because before, I'm like, eh, well, it's only a bit of a change of a bell curve, you know what I mean? It's like, uh, I don't know. But I actually can't... You know what? If you want a more gritty system, just replace your D20 with 2D10s. Just give it a go. Honestly, I would I would recommend people to just try it out and have a few sessions and see what you think. <clears throat> and like, honestly, I'm quite liking it at the moment. Um, although I don't see myself changing any of my games to 2D10, I might just add that in as like optional goals because they all they all work the exact same. It's just that mm. you know what I mean. Anyway, now, anyway, so like, the let's one no no go down the the the, the 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 one crutch rule is called forward and ongoing or more so it adds a permanent a it could beat. add a permanent plus one to your thing uh, forward ongoing okay character so that, that means... yeah so it, it could add a add a one or a plus one ongoing which is a plus one bonus for basically it's how, it's how to force your roll through okay okay so it's like advantage well it's not advantage but like um inspiration, inspiration. yeah that's called inspiration yeah. All right. Okay. So conditions. There's uh, angry. Balls. So <laughs> frightened, guilty, hopeless, insecure. So you can clear. Con you, so you. So he can clear conditions by getting emotional support. So scroll down. Scroll All right. Down, okay. Down. Okay. Um, <laughs> current conditions. <laughs> emotional support. That's that. It, you know what? It feels like a bit of a part. That feels like a parody. Not gonna lie. Uh, you you but, would think this book is parody, but they try to be so straight laced about it. It like negates parody. It goes beyond parody. Yeah, it, it feels like parody though to me. Right? Okay. Inflicting conditions and defeating NPCs. <clears throat> oh, can you kill okay. anyone in this? Or like, what's the deal? So I'll so I'll I'll, I'll read this. You can inflict conditions on both NPCs and fellow PCs. A player in charge of the affected character should choose a condition they haven't marked yet, guided by the narrative situation. Many confrontations end with de-escalation, seduction, or discovery of a new twist. If, however, you're trading barbs or blows with an adversary and you really want to defeat them or make them or take them out of the action, the way you achieve that is by piling on conditions. Okay. The GM decides how many conditions a particular NPC can take, depending on how formidable the NPC is. Some foes are so readily overcome by the PC's prowess that they crumble without a roll of the dice, which is a bit fucking cringe. Yeah. More capable individuals are defeated upon taking one or more conditions. Some opponents may be defeated as soon as they suffer a single condition. Mind you, none of those are dead. They're simply angry, frightened, guilty, hopelessness, or insecure. Okay, so you so, defeat someone by giving them anxiety? Yeah, so you don't actually. It doesn't. The, so I didn't see anything where you actually kill an okay. NPC. You, 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 you simply make them either angry, frightened, guilty, hopeless, or insecure because you stack on conditions. Okay. Um, so, you have, so, you, so you have to like gaslight your fucking, your fucking <laughs> enemy. Like, you know, fucking, 
Oh, okay. oh, you know what? You're you... fat. I'm insecure. No. Your job sucks. I'm hopeless. Oh. Your mom gay. I'm angry. <laughs> okay. it's, it's, it's dumb. You know what? I actually kind of, I actually kind of want to play this nice Saturday as like a live stream, <laughs> just because like I think that would be fun. Not gonna lie, I think I think we could make something out of this. They, w they would call us gay hunting bigots for playing. Yeah, this you guys can't play this. You don't meet the rules. <laughs> um, so... I don't know. Like here, come to think of it, I'm an indigenous person i'll have you know come to think of it <laughs> so being defeated per so being defeated Wait, partially where? deprives a character of their agency at least for the rest of the scene for npcs the person who took them out gets to propose how this happens in keeping with the fiction that led to the defeat an opposing duelist might surrender be knocked out or even killed the pompous aristocrat might be unable to continue arguing because they faint or boot out of the room which have come to the poison the trickster slipped in their drink the GM can veto proposals that aren't in keeping with the fiction and the NPC's personality. Bear in mind that inflicting conditions is emotionally violent and sometimes physically violent. Defeating someone is this way is usually not going to get them to see common ground with you or grow as a person, and it leaves them distraught at best. That said, some things are worth fighting for, and conflict is often necessary before oppression and toxic behavior can be halted. I'm, bro, I'm not fucking kidding you. This is what it says. Oh, uh, right, okay. B b besides, even friends can hurt each other's feelings, and no one is perfect, particularly not the complex, conflicted PCs and thirsty so are lesbians. So strings right. are like emotional influence over another person. You know, you can uh, basically <clears throat> tug on their heartstrings. You can influence strings. So it's there's charisma rules, then essentially, I don't care. String <clears throat> advanced, yeah. advance special rules for GM strings, experience and advancement. Oh, okay, do they just level up, or is it like an XP system? They, so basically, uh, PCs receive experience points whenever they roll a six or when. It, a six or six or lower, and when a move and when a move tells in the marked XP, some moves instruct a PC to mark XP whenever a trigger condition is met. The PC can only gain the XP the first time in each scene. So as you use moves in scenes, you gain XP. Or if you roll really mm. low, you get XP. Uh, right. Okay. Um, I'm not even going to start getting into that. Let's just keep moving. I, I, I'm not. I'm not even going to get into that. Advances. What happens when you switch? Playbooks. playbooks. What is playbooks anyway? Are they just like <clears throat> settings or so, what? Or? Uh, so switching playbooks signifies that your character has grown past the emotional conflict that defined them and is grappling with something new. Maybe the trickster is no longer too terrified to tell others what she's feeling, but instead flees when the feelings get too intense and becomes a scoundrel. Maybe a spooky witch feels insecure about her social connections to her monster friends but struggles with her own self-expression. Versus fitting in and becomes a beast. So basically, you you, you switch, um, I guess, uh, character type. All right. Okay. That's uh, okay. You know what? I it it works with their like worldview. You know what I mean? It's like just ch just change your mind. <laughs> yeah. Well, like you know, it kind of works with their whole worldview when it comes to stuff like there's no like getting better or overcoming. There's always just going to be something else in your way, which is kind of true. Don't get me wrong. Like you know, I, it is true to a certain extent. Like you know, if you feel like oh, if only I'm able to achieve this thing then that's all my problems going away with. It's like, well, no, not really. There's going to be other issues that you're going to have to deal with. But, like, I mean, you get better at it over time. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like you're going to just improve by just, like, getting well, good. usually people you, improve. Usually. Stuff. Well, either, either, they, they, either they get good or they just crumple. You know what I mean? This seems more like you're running from your problems and instead taking on another class. Of kind of yes, I don't know. yeah. Kind of. So I'm going to assume, is that like multi, multi-class in them? Kind of what they're talking about here? Or is that something else? I, I honestly don't fucking know. Oh, here we go. Me. Living happily ever after. <clears throat> What's that? When you choose to live happily ever after. As so, an advancement, the character is retired from play. Oh, right. Okay. So either you sort your life out and you get all sorted, or you just keep taking on new... Uh, you books. find your goth dummy lesbian waifu. Yes! And yes! yes! Oh, I mean, <laughs> we're so live streaming this. <laughs> <laughs> I have found George W. Bush. I'm retiring right now. <laughs> yes, perfect. So these are moves. So there's I, 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 this fucking samurai picture. Was Do you not like it? Do you not you know, like so, it? So sc scroll down to like the ugly fucking like snarling lizard people. Down. Yeah, look, this look one here. Like that—that that face is like lizard person, man. I—I I, I can't get past that. Like, 
the uh, like the Voldemort nose thing got going on there. Yeah. So these are the danger moves. So okay, danger when you moves. seek to when you seek to incapacitate someone with violence, roll plus a daring or a plus grace, uh, and more or less you just kind of fight. So right. here is the shit that makes me fucking cringe. Okay. On a on a ten plus, you choose three. Your opponent chooses one to apply to you in response. On a seven to nine, flirt with or provoke your opponent to gain a string on them. Through violence or cunning, words can inflict a condition. Create an opportunity for an ally through prowess or distraction. Take an object from your opponent or seize a superior position, which sounds <clears throat> interesting. Okay. But, uh, but more or less, this is the only, like, I, I think this is one of the few fight ones. If you scroll down, it's a whole fucking paragraph on how to fight. Yeah, it's, you know, the weird thing is, it's like, it's straightforward, but it's not at the same time. Yeah, like still, sometimes fighting is necessary. If your opponent is, if your opponent is irredeemable, pile on conditions until they no longer pose a threat. Uh, yeah, right. Okay. Um, let's just keep let, let, just give them anxiety. Right, we'll be all right. Yeah. Example fight. Don't care. <clears throat> so, defy disaster. That's when you let's see. When you push your limits to achieve something extraordinary that's not covered by another move or to an ad or to advert an imminent danger to yourself or someone else, say what you're willing to sacrifice and pick your approach. So defy disaster and like uh eh. Nah, don't care. Let's just keep going. What's yeah, this? I guess. Um God, I wanna know so how many people act actively play this. I, I also don't know. Like, because <coughs> apparently, well, apparently it was quite popular, and a lot of people, people did pick it up. Playing. Well, thing is, people people will assume that if they buy the book, they're players. So I know about kind of book sales. I know, but there's a lot of people that just buy them just to like take a picture on Twitter and call it a day. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. like, look at me, I go first. You know what I mean? And then they don't actually ever go for it at the minute. You know, the system does look playable. I'll give it that. Like, I mean, it seems to work. It's. Uh... I'm running Thirsty Sword Lesbians, and I'm not having fun with it. That's the, <laughs> Is that the first... top. That, that's the first RPG net forum thing I find. Hold on. I will so quick. Frankly, so... I, I, I would just know oh, this is like a big. Oh my god. Why? What are you getting? <laughs> the fucking profile picture. <laughs> do, I, do I even want to know? This, this is who this game was made for, dude. Right oh. here. This absolute fucking. Bangle. <laughs> so he says, Hey, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I'm not having fun with GM moves on Thirsty Sword Loves means my players never use strings, or I'm not sure how to how to how to get to them. I think they don't really understand what the strings are, if I be honest with you. Like, let's just keep going. Let's keep going. That's oh, uh, here, no, here, 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 here you go. The three players that do show up mostly with a hangout on their sentient living ship and not engage with the setting that they create. <laughs> uh I mean, uh, uh, my my sweet little summer child, you will learn. <laughs> I mean, oh, like Jesus. I mean, like so, that's kind look, of a standard though. From oh, like, so look, look at that fucking twenty year hero. <laughs> what does that mean? Twenty year, I, just... but I, I love how his name. <laughs> that's like I, 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 you know what I. Just, <laughs> Uh, I feel I feel like Billy and the Disabled. It's like, too funny, He Man. I know. <laughs> right, stagger reaction moves. What's our so, heart string moves? So the thing, thing is, apparently, if you fuck it up, you're rendered helpless for the scene. Oh, hold on. You are utterly humiliated, and news will spread. This is like a weird kink thing. You were yes. utterly humiliated, and your pee pee small. <laughs> oh no! Okay. Sucker deck. <laughs> Sucker deck. <laughs> Sucker deck. <laughs> uh, what's this? Heart, heart string moves. <clears throat> entice. Figure out a See, person. So, so, so entice is trying to seduce. Yeah. Figure out a person. Why? Look, 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 I, right. I am very glad they, they able to suffer. So, but if you're that fat, you're not going to be adventuring and getting in sword fights. All right. Stop it. Yeah, probably not. Not going to lie. Like, you know, you would die so quickly. <laughs> I mean, like, honestly, see, when it comes to like all that sort of stuff, like full gear on and like, you know, carrying everything and like running about, how, how long can you actually run for? Like, you know, let's be serious. See if you like. Like tops, like three minutes well, for most people. Well, the thing people. is, like, I I did uh, the SCA for a bit. That's the Society for the Acronyms. And I, was, I, I always see these guys lumber up out of their mom's minivan, and they would like get winded in the first like 
couple trading blows in a fucking duel. Yeah, like, sounds fine. Like, 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 bro, do cardio. You're doing a <laughs> physical sport. Like, like, and they, the thing is, we, we, we did like full plate and shit. Like, I remember I. Way back in the day, I was part. I would borrow armor and do like damn near live steel stuff, and you get winded fast. When oh, you yeah. armor and you're, and you're swinging a pole axe around or a sword or an axe, you know, you get. If you don't train your your heart and your lungs yeah. and get your cardio in, you're gonna be a you're going to, <laughs> you're like, just like drooling and shit. Like, what would you say? Like someone that's in like really top physical health let's say I like might. yeah like someone who's been like let's be serious how long can you like top perform for like half an hour tops before Bro, like you know you, the you, fatigue you, starts you, to you, you'll get gas in 20 minutes yeah and like even at peak form you are constantly your your brain's running at 3000 rpm yeah and you're i mean you, you you'll i mean you'll probably burn more than likely like nearly a thousand calories just dueling for half an hour because it's all this weight on you yeah you're, you're you, got, you got footwork you, you, you have hand work you, you have your you're trying to gauge and guess and you're you know it's 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 a lot of shit and like i would get gassed out like 15 minutes that was me that was, that was like during the military you yeah know? Like, i was like, like <laughs> fuck me break you know <laughs> so before i go fat shit you know uh, hey 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 i am losing weight again all right well let's see you no, did well like, like, like this shit though this this, this this picture always pisses me off because like you're not gonna like this reminds me of like the fucking don't call me raven bitch you know <laughs> right okay like figure out a person so let's keep person. going uh, this is so. This is, you know what? This is already boring me already. I don't even know if I want to live. Smitten. This even. Uh, influence with a string. <clears throat> why did they not uh, just call? Here, here, why here, did here, they here, not call these strings just like Christmas It. W- you um, know what? It would have been really a lot easier if they just built like. <clears throat> more charisma mechanics and just called it a day. So well, like, the game is completely charisma based, it seems like. like <laughs> God damn it. I know, but they're doing it in such a weird way. I don't know, maybe it's maybe it's not weird, but it's just not the way I would have went about it. So like say say you come across like so it's two D two D six systems. Two D six. Right. So let's yeah. say you come across let's say it's a corrupt a corrupt local official. They are going to be, if you try and bribe them, then you'll get like a plus three to that role, let's say. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Or like play off the characteristics of the enemy and just call it a day. So like say they are a paladin, you're going to get, even if you could bribe them, let's say you're going to get your minus three to that role if it's GD6. Maybe, you know, even more. So that sort of shit, you know, that, that's kind of where I would have went for it. I would have just went for the sta- like standard shit. I don't know if I would have mm-hmm. bothered with a lot of this sort of stuff, but maybe who do I know, or what do I know? Really, I am a picket. What do you uh, say? Game, <laughs> so, 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 so fucking game maker. Well, so I, finally, I, not so, even. So, hold on, hold on. Let, <laughs> let's get to the big part of this. The, right. the finally a kiss in a dangerous situation. Roll down. You see, right. broads kiss him. Okay, smitten. There Is that it? So, when people finally kiss after a period of tension, each takes plus one ongoing to get a, to safety and protect the other for the rest of the scene. If more than two people finally kiss in these circumstances, they all get the bonus. Each participant must be enthusiastic about kissing to trigger this move. Like, you can't, like, force a kiss, which is... Yeah, okay. Well, that's... Okay, well, there you go. That's So there's rec- the recovery moves, emotional support. Like, <laughs> a, 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 an, an, an action shouldn't take two pages to explain, bro. Yeah, that, I think that's the problem I've got with it. it on the surface, it's kind of basic, but when we actually like, get into it, it's not basic... At all, like the, the, the like the, these could have been bullet points, like a, like in my game, like yeah. It, it said it said it's it's one one move takes two pages to explain. They have a paragraph of fucking examples. Like, well, like you need to remember, like let's be certain, like so who are they making these games for, and what type of people are they? Uh, I, obvious thirsty lesbians. And yeah, mock raven. <laughs> but like, all you gotta really do is like. I don't know, just like condense the information a bit better. That's that's what I'm getting from this. This is more just it's it's annoying me on that fact alone. Just like just condense it, man. You don't need to add so much so many words. Hold on, hold on. So special moves, call on a toxic power. Oh wait. The world you inhabit Where's... likely contains toxic powers such as evil gods, exploitative corporations, oppressive space popes, or patriarchal governments. <laughs> okay, there we go. 
Uh, can I add it's these? The patriarchy. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the patriarchy. Not again. Capitalist corporations. Ah, space popes. Ugh, it's, that's it's, a, they're so heavy handed. Well, that's the ones that I really don't understand. See, when it comes to like, a lot of these types of like. Scroll like, the fuck down. See, when scroll I come down. Right, fine. Scroll. Do I really want scroll to? The <laughs> 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 the picture. He did this. This is, complete, this is a completely different art style to the rest of them. Bruh. Okay. Look at that, look at that fucking coat. Why is he like hovering? That's not just me. He does look like he's hovering. Wow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you woman, I feel. <laughs> Femoid. Uh, you know what this looks like? Is this um? What was that one? Why did what why was they it? draw this way? Like well, like they they like make it as patriarchal as possible with a kneeling woman, a guy with a giant coat on. Yeah, it's it's, fucking cane. What what do you call it? The that feminist TV show that they're all that they were all going on about for a few Which years. One? Uh, the one Which where it's like one? women, like the whole world becomes infertile, and like there's only like some so many women that can leap with just. Oh, that's a book first. Yeah, um, what do you call it again? I can't the Handmaid's Tale. The Handmaid's Tale. That was it. Handmaid's Tale. Yeah. yeah, that's what it's given me. Very Handmaid's Tale. They should have given so me the th thing is, if this picture. If this picture was in that fucking uh, fetish book I bought for D and D, that we're also gonna review. You and Wait, I. what fetish book? There's a D and D like fetish. <laughs> is combat that book. Is, is that the book of Elotica? Are you on about? Yeah. Oh, for God's yeah. sake, Garbo! Don't worry, I bought it for us both. Oh, thanks. But but, but but this picture could be like in a fucking fetish book, like Dom <laughs> Daddy shit, like. Yeah. Who's been a bad girl? Who's who's been a naughty sword lesbian? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Right, fuck this. Uh, Let's just keep going. I'm already I'm already bored of this. Not gonna lie. Making, making characters. characters. Okay. Oh, of course, of course, she has giant gauges on her ears. Yeah. So step one: choose a playbook that represents the emotional conflict and archetype you want to embody. Okay. Fuck prompts and choose your character. Yeah. Okay, I want to. I want to know what the what the playbooks are. I want to see so the character. So let's go and scroll down the playbooks. Here we go. All right. Okay. What ones do we have? What What is this fucking blushing squid woman? <laughs> my whereabouts is it? Do I keep going? Keep. Oh. Keep go, go, go down. Go down. Oh go my down. god. <laughs> <laughs> not, not nice squiddies. <laughs> <laughs> squiddies. Oh my god. Please don't call them that. All right. Okay. Okay. So like, thanks for sort of lesbians. Are you tired of overreaching and overbearing censorship on important and non-important issues? Well, you're in luck. For just seven fifty a month, you can get access to over 60 hours of completely uncensored and unhinged schizo takes from Megan and James. From I us. Mean, I mean, look, um, it's 60 hours at the minute. Every week we do a minimum of like three hours. Yep. So, you know. You get a lot of content. There's a lot on there. A lot of content. Ranging from... Or even, yes, they are that spicy. Even the name of the topic must be censored. You can't even, we can't even promote it on YouTube. <laughs> you can stream or download all the videos from Gumroad and cancel your membership at any time. Though new videos every week on average come to two to three hours long so we can really go in depth on any topic and we are not strangled by the YouTube algorithm. That's a big issue I always find. Yeah. If we can be open and uncensored and not have to worry about any of that. If you want to talk about a subject, YouTube really promotes, oh, you're going to have to get that done in 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. But on this, we can really take your time and really delve yep. into it. And most weeks we do bonus off-topic videos. And yes, we even have a teaser video you can download for free from nickbeardia.co.uk. In it, we talk about Northern Ireland for four and a half hours. <laughs> I don't even think we're Scotch. Sorry. No, guys. it's to try and help you understand who we are as people, our worldview, and how we can kind of be aliens to most people. If any of that sounds good to you, go ahead, links down below, and let's get back to the video. Also, and um, the winner of the deal we giveaway is this guy. Yay! Woo! <laughs> woo! <laughs> woo! <laughs> Look, anyway, uh, in for a chance to win, all you gotta do is like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, automatically entered in. And to claim the prize, you just send an email to neckbeardycontact at gmail.com. Let's get back to the video. The playbooks, right. Okay, so we got the beast. The beast. Uh, okay, so uh, the dedicated furry. I think it's basically the, like the furry or the unshaven lesbian character. <laughs> okay, okay. So, um, 
The so, beast follows their truth, uh, the truth and their passions, which put them in conflict with civilizations and civilizational norms. Unless they give up what makes them special and powerful, they cannot make themselves acceptable to the civilized society. They uh, control conflict as given their truth versus fit in with dominant social order. Okay, so like generic misfits sort of thing? Is that what More it's? or less, yeah. Um, so example it's... archetype, Ranger Between Worlds, Bitten, uh, Leaves by Beasts. Okay, so Dedicated so, Furry. That's, I, I don't want to yeah, play that one. Character. What's the next one we've got? <laughs> Feral. <laughs> I mean, like... You... <laughs> so this is all... This is all one playbook right here. So scroll oh, down. Right, okay. You have, you have playbook moves. What's this There's one? trans. Now, 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 now. YouTube. We are reading from the book here. Don't, don't, don't nuke us. But we have transform, big dyke energy. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that. I'm, 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 you sold me. I'm playing it nice. I am. This is what my car. I will going. have big dyke energy. Right <laughs> here, my furry girl. Yeah. So yeah. there's ferocious, shameless, tenacious purpose, and trekker. Okay. Uh, truce and, and, and the thing is, we're not done yet. This is still all one class. We have do you just truce start, of heart and blade. Wait, we so do you just start with all this sort of stuff? Does like I, I guess do like, you, is this like or is this like a skill tree or anything? Or do you pick well, this, like one well, or two? No, the, 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 these are the moves. So you, you start with the move marked and choose two more. So you, so you choose. Oh right. Okay. Two okay. moves to have. Okay. So, okay. Truce of heart and blade. You have smitten kitten. <laughs> Uh, when, so when you become smitten with someone, say why, give them a string and answer this question. Uh, and then the bloody truth, playing the beast, you know, it's just oh, it's so how you should play your character. The chosen? Um, okay. The chosen. <laughs> so the chosen playbook revolves around special status, relationships <laughs> across social strata, and the crushing experience, the crushing... And the crushing expectations of fate, family, or the adoring public. The central uh, conflict is inner truth versus crushing social expectations. Magical princess, pop idol, chosen one, aesthetic, stoic demeanor, fancy clothes, a bejeweled sword. Okay, so we got Lizzo or a furry so far. What are you going for? I'm going for fucking neither. <laughs> are you sure? Uh, Why is there a better so, one? <laughs> so... Right, let's so, just keep de going. So, Destiny, Destiny examples. Marry the prince of heteronormia... <laughs> uh, wait, wait, melt the heart. Wait, yeah. wait, marry the prince of Hetlunoria so they don't want to be lesbians? I guess. I, I don't know. Be sacrificed to appease the horror, banish magic from the world, melt the heart of the undying one. Okay. So pl their playbook moves are the fate of the approaches, do you know, you know who I am, entourage, gossip, guidance from above, or help me, or know your place. Uh, and it's just, yeah. It's just, okay, it's well, well, you know what? <coughs> I will give them this. Both the classes look very, very different play styles. Mm -hmm. so I'll give them that. I do I do appreciate that. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to be nice. At least they are very, very different by the looks of things. Just just, just scroll down. So okay, like yeah, also. I don't, yeah, I just uh, care. This is the Devoted. Oh, okay, here we go. The Devoted is a selfless protector committed to a person or a cause. Their subtle conflict lies in pitting the d uh, devotion against self-care. Oh, mate, so yeah, the activist... So we got the furry, the activist, <laughs> and Lizzo. I don't really like any of them so far. But, uh, okay, aesthetics, hard demeanor, affectionate uh, demeanor, alert demeanor, armor, uniform, sturdy clothes, a bestowed sword, a well-worn sword, or a defensive sword. Oh, here, and then there, there's a basic stats. Oh, wait, so do they already... Do they have like dedicated stats of what they're given? Yeah, yeah, they do. So, you, so you choose a column. Which one, which one you All right, okay. okay. So there's our to, to a cause, to a person, to a higher power. Last stand. What's best for them? What's best for them? Are, yeah. All right, okay. So playbook moves are fanatical self-sacrifice for the cause, gallant rescue, power of conviction, lay on hands. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> but it should have been lay on fucking lay on finger lay on or something. Yeah, lay on muff <laughs> or something. Man, and you could have done so much better. What do you think? Come on, I could have made a better like, party. It's it's honestly amazing how fucking boring the fucking playbooks are. I you know what I, I, I you know what I'm actually 
No, because I don't have the time for this, even though I think it would be funny. <laughs> I could, you know what? I'm really tempted to just like rewrite like this. Like, I'm gonna make it good, okay? I'm gonna I'll make my own lesbian game. <laughs> I'm gonna make Jack and lesbian hookers. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna actually make it fun. And instead of, instead of lesbians, it's gonna be twinks, okay? Who's with me? <laughs> so it's gonna be fun. Back to the infamous. The infamous is basically a uh, ex former villain or a dishonored person. It's basically your 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 uh, anti hero. Character. Okay. Well, that seems a um, bit better than the other one so far. The yeah, it's, it's it's honestly the better. It was it's honestly the one, one of the fucking better ones. It has more more of a more of a twist to it if anything else. The only problem is if like you know if you're playing this, you know finally like, this whoever plays this is going to hand you over like a fucking fifty page backstory. That's the only problem. Mm-hmm. That you guaranteed Absolutely. that. You're guaranteed that. Um, do I even want to read about it? I already know what it's about, nah, so I don't it's, care. It's, it's, it's just, just basically just the anti hero. There's <laughs> yeah. also the nature witch. Go down. See the nature witch. Oh, nature witch. Okay. What about basically the golf every, witch? Okay. This, basically, this is what every lesbian pagan is going to fucking play. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's going to be them green witches. We're definitely going to play this. <laughs> the, uh, those green witches. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't fuck with them green witches. Like, I, I, only, I only fuck with, like, you know, the blood witches. They're, they're, so they're my, they're my one shit. Of, one of this one's pop. Well, this one's powers are I ship it. So, <laughs> oh it can, my god! <laughs> right, okay. So it, it, it can try and set up other people to have a, to have a relationship. You can try and ship them. Okay, so is that like I mean, the people that are going to be a, the people that are going to want this are going to be the people that made the Jacksepticeye and Markiplier. Markiplier, yeah. yeah, all that homo yeah, lot ago. I was, I was there for that shit. <laughs> yeah, the uh, to- so. Then you go down to a scoundrel. She's the Shimbo pirate. Oh, okay, okay. I could, I, you know what? This sounds like I, I, I think I could work with this one. This most likely out of any of them so far. This is the girlfriend every guy wants. Honestly, is the fucking scoundrel. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the scoundrel is a hero action and an intense phys- uh, physicality. Their sword fights are punctuated by banter and flirtation, and end in kisses as often as they end in bloodshed. Their uh, central conflict lies in their urge to explore new horizons versus committing to purpose or security. So they so they have one move that I always laugh at and it's called rip. Okay, where when is you, that? Whoop, Let me go down. Very, that one more. There you go. So when you take or narrowly evade a physical blow from someone dangerous to you, you may declare that your clothes were damaged and are now practically <laughs> indecent. For the remainder of the scene, when you roll a 10 plus on any move against an NPC, you may declare that they have a crush on you. Additionally, any PC becomes smitten with you during the remainder of this session. May mar- this is basically an anime trope. Like, oh no, my titties are out now. No, <laughs> you know what? My dude, I guess he got a Like, this is the most based fucking power in the entire game. Well, I, I rip, appreciate it. Rip if, and Big Dyke Energy are probably the bit, two best moves in the fucking. I, I can be, wait. Did, wait, did Zoro not do this? Who Zoro? Oh, Zoro, uh, he would do it to other guys all the time. <laughs> yeah. All right, okay. You know what? If I'm playing this, I'm going to go with the scoundrel then. The scoundrel? Uh, yeah, that's, that's... By a... far, the scoundrel is like the most base character in the entire book. Okay. Because okay. they have two auto-include moves called Lust at First Sight and Shiny and New. Hmm. All right. Basically, they're base. It was like a cult. There's, one, well, there's one move called One, one Every Port. When you return to any town you've been to before... Name a person with whom you shared intimacy here and say how you left things. <laughs> All right, okay. See, it's like like fucking Jack Sparrow. Yeah, I can see that. You know what? I, I, you know what? It sounds kind there, of fun. If you there <laughs> is a cat mom down below. <laughs> yep, there it is. Cat mom. Oh my god! Right. So what's the the seeker? So the seeker comes from a toxic society and has found a new community in which to belong and grow. Their central conflict pits tradition in upbringing against justice and developing their personal values. So basically, it's like the uh, break free Christian lesbian, I guess, or something. All right, okay. They, they are an immigrant from heter- from heteronormia. They're <laughs> enclave. Now, just now, just look at the fucking subtle text here. They're enclave raised. They come from a privileged background and are an immigrant from heteronormia. Okay. Do you get what they're saying? There? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. 
All right, let's just a keep white woman. <laughs> okay, okay. So what is what is? Oh, oh, so, no, 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 no. What? Commandments. Here we go. There are commandments. This particular one. All right. Okay. Always answer an insult with a draw a sword. Never admit to your weak emotions. Always cover your sinful body. No intimacy until after monogamous marriage. Never give uh, when you can sell. Never let a weaker person fight their own battles. Never fight a weaker person's battles. Always obey the authority. Always obey a certain type of person, gender, race, class, belief, elders. Never go on chaperoned or at all. Mate, did you book free? Like, in a way, you still being chaperoned? <sighs> I, I don't know, dude. Um, just... Alright, okay. Um, what so, abilities do they have? So they have, uh, pe people are people, hear me, wasn't all bad, listen and learn, proper courtship, silly tourist, and <laughs> stiff upper lip. Yeah, that sounds kind of boring, man, not gonna lie. Um, that's gonna be a no for Don't me. Don't worry, there's the spooky oh, witch. Oh, the spooky witch! Oh, yes! Yes, this Every is my one. fat oh. <laughs> bitch, hot topic of the character. Yeah. yeah, 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 I think I know some of these. <laughs> I've met, I've met, I've met quite a look, few. Look, look, we don't have to explain what this is. Everyone knows this is every self-insert ever oh. on this fucking. This, this is cringe. This is dumb. Like they, like, y'all couldn't use a like a fucking a nice-looking goth girl. No, you gotta get like the, the stretch mark McGee going. Yeah, hey, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, does she have? Yeah, she actually does have stretch marks put on. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, they, 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 they went in and made a point to draw on stretch marks. Okay. So, okay. Well, like whatever. Their, so their playbooks, their, the playbook moves are: I like snails, astral Wait. dance, divin. Yeah. I like the astral dance, divination, dreamwalk, airy companion. Friends in weird places. Talk nerdy to me. What's talk nerdy to me? Let's see. What's all this one about? You may roll plus wit instead of plus heart to entice someone. In addition, choose an area of study that holds special interest for you. You have top tier knowledge <laughs> of all this area and are always prepared with basically every 40k trans person. <laughs> yeah. Twitter. Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's just this. It's basically like the self insert. And yeah. The trickster, which is basically the rogue. All right. Okay. The trickster. Okay, you know what? So, do, do I even carry that much? I don't know. I think I, I already. I, I think I already know. So, center of the web, deft fingers, ooh, ooh. devious scheme, knives behind the mask, play the part. That's their thing. And GMing the game. Oh, we're finally through this shit. We're we are. How many pages in here? Eighty-five. So the only problem that I have, I think, with the characters is that they feel like they're very. Well, yeah, that too. But I feel like, from my from a gameplay perspective, they all do feel like quite different and quite, you know, fill their own niche. I'll give them that. However, I feel like they've got a pre set character pre in mind. They're pre gens. They feel like all pre gens to me. Like instead of having races, they had these playbooks, and I guess you would work out of that playbook whatever you were. But that means no matter if you're a cat person, a dog person, a wolf person, or a fucking whale hmm. person, you're playing that playbook. There's no real... Yeah. It doesn't even really matter what you are, because the playbook defines your entire character. So no matter who you choose in this book, the playbook will define you and literally put you in a box, which I find completely fucking ironic. <laughs> yeah, that's like, actually, yeah, that's kind of, yeah, that's a, that's a good way of putting it into words, the way I would like, pick it, up. I mean, like, I'm, 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 I'm not trying to pick on them, I am really am not, I'm kind of taking the piss a bit, but they put all, no matter what race or species or talking plushie you may be, you're put in that box, and you can't go outside that box, and it's the only thing you're going to know. And I think that's why they made it so. Remember before, like you, you can change your playbook. You know, yeah. Why they did that? Because that way you, you you can avoid burnout on, on the thing you're playing. Yeah, because it feels like it's, it feels like the character's already like written for you. Almost does that make any sense? It feels like there's not so, many places for you to actually go with it. I don't know. Like so GM in the game, and, I don't know if I really care yeah. about this stuff. So, so no, 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 no. This is this is important. Or what you're going to be dealing with here. So uh, me and James are both GMs. So. Here, oh, so I'm, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read all this shit oh, that down below. Not, right, not that okay. Down, down below that. Okay, so just stand by. No matter what tone you pick, the world is be dangerous enough that serious consequences are are on the line. Doesn't mean that death is on the line. 
Uh, Instead, stakes are barbecue things like being rejected, having a political alliance fall through, or disappointing your men towards consequences can have to feel like real possibilities. So they say, so they're saying, don't focus on death, focus on emotional death. Now is your chance to tell the story you wanted when you when you shook your fist at the TV screen and chatted. Now m make it gay, you cowards. So this is what they're, <laughs> yeah. Make right. it gay, lol. I don't know why, but make it gay because I'm gay and everything must be gay. Okay. Yeah, this is where the the rails start. I don't know. Um, I just kind of feel defeated. Well, you know what? Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's just uh, so. So this is this this is a, an emotional progress game masquerading as a combat game. So thirsty sword lesbians may get into a lot of sword fights. But those sword fights often end with making out or with mutual understanding rather than bloodshed. Include adversaries who are appealing and relatable, give them believable mo motivations, emotional attachments to the conflicts, and have them poke at the pieces existing emotional conflicts. An adversary who represents one prong of a piece using central emotional dilemma can be very powerful. The history of queer coding villains and villainizing queers provides you a trove of tropes to work with. Reclaim those lesbian vampires and stylish spinster villains. The pieces are going to be emotional, volatile, caring, heartbroken, and everything in between. Make sure the players have time to explore this. The mechanics will help prompting the emotional support one another and roleplay their conditions. Yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. How does it make you feel? Describe intense scenes where people and feel intense emotions. Engage all the PC senses, not just sound and taste, but intuition and feelings. You know, it's just... I, yeah. I, I just don't care, frankly. Um, GM moves. Uh, Till into the PC's emotional... Complicated in these ships. Okay, don't care. So, narrative Menu. GM moves highlight adversaries appeal. <clears throat> face temptation alone. Poker dilemma. Mechanical DM. So the, the actual mechanical DM moves are four options. All right. Okay. Take a string on them. Describe why. Uh, inflict a condition. Work with them to figure out what makes the most sense. Make them stagger. Offer them XP to make an unwise decision and potentially inflict a con. I don't know, man. That sounds kind of bigoted. Like, what you try and trick your players? No kill. No kill. You shouldn't be doing that. Kind of cringe, bro. Safety yeah, card. safe card. I know. Like, what? Uh, uh, that's that's trick, man. Just putting that out so there. So here, here is how. Cookie cutter these things are. These, these are the GM moves for each, for each playbook, and they actually have things that will work for the entire playbook. So this is basically a how to fuck with that playbook list for the GM moves, and it's literally. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, you know what? I just yeah. I'm just gonna keep going. I, I'm not gonna get into that. Uh, Formidable NPCs trigger GM moves upon taking condition: angry, frightened, guilty, hopeless, and secure. So uh, basically, offer a deal, call out PCs' misdeeds. Lash out and hurt a bystander, yada yada. I don't care. GM moves and advice for specific story elements. So. Uh, yeah, so basically, so if you guys want to see what, what kind of stories I want you to tell, there are relationship triangles, oh, couples right. with obstacles, relationship anarchy, mystery and intrigue. So this is what they're what they're really trying Wait, to push so you towards. They want to, what do you call it? What's the word for polycule or poly? What do you call them? These like. Um, Oh, a polyamorous. Yeah, but what's like the name? They've got a name like poly, polypod or something. They call that shit nice that they do. Or, polypod. I I prefer the term herd, but you know I don't think <laughs> poly herd. <laughs> yeah, well that's what I may as well. But let's be serious. Um, ah, fuck. So, I'll, so I'm just gonna scroll to find something worth fucking. Talking yeah, about I'm just gonna keep skipping because like I just don't. This is care. All, it's all GM shit. Like. Here's how, here's, how, here's how you can tell your story. Nah, 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 nah. Setting the tone. Variant story focus. Using, using conditions to build tension. Uh, narrative position structure, and setting the stage. Structure of play. Why are there... Hold on. Go to page 100. Page 100. Let's go, go to page 100. Okay. Or, what page am I on? Uh, 100. 103. 103. So, go up, 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 up. There up, we go. Up. Look at, Hold on. Recap. Hello, my name is Les Les Lesbiab Z Zer. GM takes strings or begins. Escalate the action. Why are there wet marks there? <laughs> what does that mean? Um, I'm going to assume each. I I'm pretty positive. Um, each game is designed in a way that you're not even really supposed to play it. I think it's like a setup to just like. Group sex. No, it's just like a setup for like group sex or some shit. That's what it feels like to me. 
That's what I'm. That's what I'm gauging from this at the minute. Mm-hmm. Like that's what it feels like to me. It just feels like right. Um, this is just an excuse for. Do you want to add like a little plan to like the group sex this week? It's like okay. Uh, go to uh, go to page one hundred eight. One hundred eight. Okay. Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Here yeah, we right go. There. All right, okay, so right. let's let's lead this. Will we go for it? You know what? You be Mildred, I'll be Edith. How's that sound? All right, so I'm Mildred then, yeah? Or am I Edith? Yeah, you're Mildred. Where were you trying to go? The princess's bedchamber is on her ship. Hmm, you could use Temok, but I don't want to split you all up even more right now. Oh, I know, Salinted, you don't know where the Imperial Princess bedchamber is. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm sorry, Garbro. <laughs> I, I'm not, that's, 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 I feel like I need to be more saucy for it. Not gonna no, 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 hold, no, hold, hold on. Just listen to how, listen to what this example is. So, uh, oh, I know, so Lynette, you don't know where the imperial princess's bedchamber is so you have to ha- so you have to or- orient to the princess herself the ghosts guide you to her but they seem angry these are ghosts that were in clinging to the imperial ship people killed by this previous commander queen anna Ver. when your dance reopens the veil to the living world these angry ghosts reach in and snatch the sleeping princess from her bed and the two of you tumble to a stop on top of it it is very soft and comfy, but you already hear a guard calling from outside, wondering what the strange noise was. Before we get to that, Anita, I, need, I want to want to check in. Should we find a way to get re- Revian on in, in on the action? So it's just it's just, uh... it's just a thirst book. Let's be serious. It, it really is. It's basically a book about lesbians. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what, I mean, it's in the title. <laughs> I mean, like yeah. I feel. Yeah. Okay. Thirsty sword lesbians. Yeah. You're right. All right. So, okay. They uh, got us. They got us, James. Sh- I didn't think ahead. Sentence and adventures. Do I even want to know collaborative so, world building? I'm, I'm, I'm trying try, try to find the, the cringe pronoun shit I saw earlier. All right, okay. Star Cross Galaxy Principle. The Lesbian Coffee House. <laughs> uh, sentence. There's like a neon yeah. cyberpunk setting too. Oh, right. Okay. Well, that's that's nice that they that they thought of putting oh, that in. God, there's so much fucking shit here. I, I from the looks of this, this would just fit very well with um, Burger Punk. No, well, <laughs> actually, kind of, yeah. Um, Median Citadel. Like that, oh, that's kind of what this I. This would slot right into it, bro. It, it this this is kind of what I imagine like Median Citadel was actually made for. If I be honest with you, it's just like unofficial. Uh, let's see. Jesus Christ. Uh, coffee, coffee houses. Sparkle heart. <laughs> okay. Um, bu- 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 when a PC fights a PC. Oh, it's variant rules. Okay. So there are expanded fight moves. Oh, right, so okay. Go page, page 189. 189. Yeah. From there to one eight nine, it's all scenarios and shit. All right, okay, let's check that. Check. I, I don't know why they didn't double page this bitch <laughs> on the PDF like mine. Yeah, I, just, I don't know. I don't know. Um, so one eight nine, you're you're not even there yet, bro. It's I, all, know, it's all I know, I know, but the way the way the thing is, it's hard. It's look, it's hard for me to read. Okay. By the <laughs> way, you, 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 you can tell that a lot of these artists fucking love Shira, dude. What is Shira? Uh, the fucking Shira, the fucking He-Man thing, but it was like the fucking. Oh character. yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was a disaster, okay. wasn't it? So on one eighty nine. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. You are one eight four there. One eight. Why? What's up? Who gets to narrate? Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So this is a storytelling game, so it's important for everyone to have an opportunity to contribute and shape the stories that emerge from play. When making a custom move, consider who would have input on the interaction versus the recipient of emotional support. Yeah, yeah. Additionally, make sure that each player's contributions matter. The principle is why the guidance for the five disaster move. In general, PCs have the most narrative. In general, PCs have the most narrative authority on an upbeat, and GMs have the most on a downbeat. Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> Um, I mean, Garbo, have you seen the last of you, the book? <laughs> I mean, like, are you high on lesbian fucking muff, bro? What the yeah, fuck? Huff- this is this is an absolute. Yeah, no shit. 
Hey, the... Even on a down, oh hold on. Even on a downbeat, the GM shouldn't seize control of a PC's intentions without buy-in from the player. This is all fucking consent for the player shit. Come yeah, on. you should wait. We we do this. Ugh, we do this. Come on. Oh, me. Can we? Ugh. You know what? I feel. I feel like the, the, this is the only shit that makes me want to live stream at night. Just because like, I, I just want to wind you up, so, bro. I just. So, I just so, really want to. All right. Okay. Look. Let's so just... Basically, you're tr trying to say that the players can actually over narrate the GM. Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> why roll dice? Yeah. I wonder why. Don't bother. Don't bother. Yeah. Like, so, like, I've so basically on personally. Right. Scroll down the variant rules. Let's scroll down the variant rules. Yeah, let's, let's try and find some footage. There we go. There we go. Variant rules. So expand, expanded fight moves like maneuvers, lunge, repost, scrap, faint. That's something. Um, PCs can fight each other. Or mostly just you mostly just gaslight each other while you're dueling with swords. <laughs> like literally, this is gaslighting while dueling with swords. You're trying to like emotionally attack them. Like your mom gay stab. Like it's it's kind of. <laughs> I would all. I, I, I guess. I feel like I would rather be stabbed at this point, if I be honest. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. You know what? That's just. I. Why is it that it's such a? It's it's a really st simple, straightforward system, but it's not. Does that make any? Like the the, the foundations of it is a simple system, but they've made the, it really the, complicated. Or it's not. They really. took. They took a bones. The bones of a good and then layered on a bunch of glitter and useless shit on top of that. Yeah, there's a lot of useless Go, shit. Go, okay, page 197. What if not lesbians? Oh, that, okay, 197. Okay, this is interesting now. Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll see two guys playing chess. Go down. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Telling class. I'll let you on a secret. You don't, you don't have to play a lesbian. The game plays with themes that are common for all sorts of people who are marginalized on the basis of gender and sexuality, like being a white straight man. I swear to I God. But I'm an indigenous person, Garbo. Do you not get this? Like, uh, I'm an Irishman. I'm, I'm a minority. Yeah, I am. So, a, I am a minority. What are you all about? I, 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 <laughs> I should. I sh you know what? Where's my reparations? You know what I mean? Like the the, fa so, the famine was around the same time as uh, American Civil War. So like, come on, guys. So, if you want to play thirsty sword cis hats, is that actually what they're saying? Yeah, if you want to play Thirsty Sword Lesbian Cishets, I'm not going to stop you. Just don't be surprised if they if the game turns them queer. Okay. Telling trans stories. Oh, Do we get no. banned or no? No. Fucking. This is script past that. It's, it's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it. Glossary. So, the glossary. There's there's cishet, cisgender, bisexual, ace, demisexual, dyke, fash, gender, he. He, him, lesbian. I'll be honest <laughs> with you. I, I, I imagine the people that are buying this book don't need this page. Yeah, this is for like this is for us for us all us cis hats, James. You don't you don't know what this fucking yeah these, these fancy is that a are. new word that they've used cis hat? No, it's quite old. I, no, because I I know they use cis for ages, but I don't know cis hat. Is that like I don't know. So here's a new one, a swerf. Oh, I, I mean. Can I be one? So, a sex worker excluding radical or reactionary feminists is someone who claims to be a feminist but undermines the liberation for sex workers and, by extension, everyone marginalized on the basis of gender. Not welcome here. Okay. <laughs> so, so it's a swerf and turf. I kind of like that. Oh, uh, God. I kind of I appreciate that. Swouse. <laughs> Swouse swerf. Uh, polyamorous. Polycule. That's the word I was thinking of. So, Thank so, you. so I love how swerfs, swerfs and turfs are like not welcome here. No, thank you, straight woman who doesn't like trans people. <laughs> yeah. Grr. Yeah. No, you're not alive. <laughs> so, so hold on. Hold on. Trans. A person who does not identify with the gender they were signed at birth slash born with. May or may not have medical procedures modifying their body, and are, and is and is not your place to ask. May or may not conform their expression to cisgender norms. Some of us trans women have deep voices. That's rad. Some of us trans women have deep voices, and that's rad. This is written by a trans person. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know how much I can comment on that on YouTube. Not gonna lie. Uh, trans feminine is a sucker deck. If you guys want to hear me, meet me and James go off hardcore in this book, fucking 
send a donation so we can do it. Uh, I, I would I would be tempted to do something like this for Gumload, but like, no, it's not. Honestly, I I, 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 I don't I don't want to. I, 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 I don't want to. I don't want to look at the. Valid. <laughs> That's funny. That's actually. You know what? Actually, you, know you what? are valid. Yeah, I actually like that. Um. Yeah, I'm never looking at this book again. Acknowledgements. What's this? <laughs> Don't look at this fucking book again. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I'm never gonna pick it up again. Um. I appreciate a good 2D sex system. I'll give them that. I feel like. Honestly, it's probably. All right, and there we go. This is like the glossary. Uh, oh, here is this character sheet. There's a character sheet. Yeah, I want that's, that's their character is that, sheet. Is that actually now the look? Now look at their character sheet. Like that is their. Is that really that's their character sheet? The palette. Yeah. Is that actually what they've done? Is that look. I mean, okay. I mean, I don't see any, any kind of sheet on there. No, I, like... I, I. You know what? I don't care. Uh, game startup. Does it come with like, an adventure or anything? No. They not have like so, a... so just for fun, I typed in hetero to what popped up in this book. So I'm going to go through them one at a time. The emissaries of the interplanetary realm of Queertopia travel to an important political wedding in heteronormia. What could go wrong? Next. Uh, let's see here. The best days of their lives. The represent the sovereigns of the interstellar realm of Queertopia on a diplomatic mission to the neighboring empire of Heteronormia. The crown prince of Heteronormia empire has been married, and as a Queertopian delegation, you are the one to advance the interests and values of your people. This adventure tends to fall on the goofy end of the tone spectrum, and it can also be, cathar can also be cathartic power fantasy. Yeah, imagine I, if... I, I, now, the thing is, imagine, imagine if that was reversed. Imagine if it was, it was reversed, that the Heteronormia was trying to was trying to expand their and advance their <laughs> interests and values on the Queertopia people. It'd be seen as bigot. It'd be seen as bigoted. It would. It'd be like, that's, a, that's, a, that's bigoted. It's a bunch of bigots. Um, but, when, but when they do it, it's fine. I, honestly, I'm, you know what? I'm happy that this that this scheme exists. And the reason why I'm very happy that they that this exists is the same reason why I'm very happy that 5e exists. It means like you know they can go off and they can play this, and I don't have to ever hear about it again because oh I'm, I, I, I ain't done yet. Hold on. So the GM section of contained spoilers. First oh. of all, heteronormia is ridiculous. It's a bit scary, certainly with its spacefaring navy and fearsome battle nuns. But it's also a fairly over-the-top parody of real-world patriarchy. Okay. As written, it's specifically a parody of Western patriarchy with room to tailor the elements to focus on what you want to mock or rewrite for a different feel. Are you getting the lesson here, kids? Uh... The princess of Heteronormia is in love with the bride and has conspired with the prince for him to be abducted by his boyfriend, a revolutionary... In other words, both prince and princess are likely in to need the Queertopians' help before the day's end. Of course, being Queertopians, they bring their own complications, you know, yada yada, the, the playbooks. Um, it's basically you're trying to undermine the, uh, the patriarchal planet of heterotopia. <laughs> I'll be straight up, Garbo. I'm at the point. I just don't care. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I, when, see, whenever at the start of this video, I was like, you know what? I'll give it a fair attempt. I'll give it like, you know, I'll try and walk into this with an open mind. I'll see if the game system works, what it's all about. Because all of her is This is a, this is, th th this is a basic bones 2d6 plus one minus one game system. But yeah. it's tacked on with all this other bullshit yeah <laughs> there's no other word to put it but bullshit you know what i'll, I'll you know what Garbo, do you want to do one that's actually decent um you might like the um the fetish one no <laughs> well you know what right okay look i've got two books there's a, it's the same it's done by the same author he's quite he's quite a nice fella so he is i've been talking to him a wee bit on facebook um it'll probably be a wee while because it's actually you know the problem is whenever i want to do like books that i'm actually interested in like they never perform very well but if you do like videos about thirsty sword lesbians and like hey i want to hear about that it's like do, do, do you really is this really what you want or do you want like do you do, do you really or would you not want like an actual like good book do you not want to like look at a good book come on look at a good book instead come on come on uh either way either way like um so what would uh, you do? Go, what what, 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 what would you do with this system? How would how would you, how would you make it work? 
Well, I'm I'm kind of going through the, the the scenarios. The cis hets are crashing your speed dating night, determined to enjoy the magical beverages of lesbians and fall in heterosexual love with each other. Can you show them enough magic to awaken any latent queerness in them without fully revealing the secrets of the foxhole woods? So what you want is the um, the Republican um, Sander getting sucked off by like a lamp boy in the toilets. I fucking hate this book. Yeah, not gonna lie, um, it's a, it's 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 just it's just boring. Me, mate. This, um, this, this this is so dry and it's so boring it, and relies on uh, channeling the anger and hate. Well, it's of not one faction against another to even further a plot it's not even it's that though it's just it, well, it, like the, the it, thing that the thing i hate the most i hate the most is that this game is pitting the gays and straights against each other yeah I like this book that's is true. all about the, the the gays getting one over the straights you know queertopia will one day occupy and destroy heterotopia it's like come on yeah not gonna lie if this if this was sorry sorry Come on, Zezer. <laughs> right. I mean, like, like, if they want it, they want it. Like, you know, the thing that I've got is, I don't honestly believe anyone's playing this game. If I be straight up, I, I just don't believe that's the case. I really don't. Bro, like, it's just you gaslight your enemy to death. If you get enough conditions on them, you can kill them. Or they like just piss and shit themselves. Like, what? It's, it's. I get what they're. I get. I, <sighs> I get what they're trying to do. But it's so ham fisted. Yeah, it's and uh, stupid. It's it's, it's kind of done. And like, you know what? Like, you know, you, why didn't they not like write this as if it was like an actual like romance novel? Like, you know, maybe something. Like, you know what? You know what? I'm I'm just going to write here and say the best romance novel ever made was 1984, and I'll have no more said about it. Right? Uh, what they should have done is try to write this book from, from a cis het point of view and make an actual parody. Instead, they parodied themselves. Yeah, they actually did parody themselves quite badly. Yeah, and, and the other thing is again, it's like very, it's very two dimensional. I like, you know what? Fuck this. This that's that's it. I've, no, I've got this. This 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 is one dimensional. <laughs> yeah, one dimensional. Yeah, like, you know what? That's all. I'm 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 never looking at this again. Um, is there any other like absolutely appalling books that people like, keep talking about? I'm go I'm really tempted for Lady and Citadel. There's one called Dungeons and Dragons. That <laughs> yeah, well, here it wasn't always awful. <laughs> I, I'll have that. I'll have that at least. I feel like you know there were the good days. There were the good days. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to. I'm kind of tempted to do um, Lady and Citadel. Or like again, what's that? What's this new one? <laughs> what is it? You, Garb, you know, you know more about it than me. What the candle, the candle obscura thing? Yeah, what it like? What's it about? It's a hor It's just a horror drama that's been premiering on Twitch using the cast of Critical Role. And of me, it's a uh, or what? Or it, it was created by that fucking goober-haired fucking dickhead, a fucking Talison. Which one's that? Um, he's the one who looks, looks like a like a Tumblr self-insert. Oh yeah, I think I know. I think I know the one. I think I'm not sure. Um. um and it's, it's just I don't know. It's I mean, it, like I I think it's dog shit personally. Is it, like, would if it you even would it even if be even worth... remotely? Well, if even remotely like talk talk bad about it, the critters come out of the fucking woodwork and try and like I don't know set your house on fire or some <laughs> shit. Is it that bad? Like what? Why? What? What is it that makes it no, so bad? Well, no, the, the 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 real issue is that it's fucking. The, I mean, the only issue is that it involves the the it involves the fucking. Critical Role fan base. That's the only bad thing about it. And the little people will fucking spurg out over fucking anything. Like, say you go, you know, I, I don't like XY character and they just happen to be gay like down the line. They fucking try and oh, get yeah. your work to set you on fire in the parking lot. I don't fucking know. Yeah. Uh, so, if you want to, so if, if, if you want to do a video on that, we gotta like, I gotta tee you up on what it is. You gotta watch a few episodes. All right. Oh no, I'm not watching. No, tell you what. No, we're not. <laughs> we're, we're not doing that then because I'm just not gonna. Sit. No, I, I don't care. I don't care, guys. I'm just not gonna watch that. I'm not gonna watch anyway, it to get up to speed. Uh, hold on, real quick. So we we were reviewing stuff now. You and I, James. So we gotta give us a grade. I'll let you do your grade in a short expression of what you thought about it, and I'll do my grade. Um, don't don't buy this book. Um. Give it a grade. Give it a grade. Um, teeth out of blue job. <laughs> um, I don't know what else to tell you. Um, 
not you're horrible at this. I feel like there's there's parts of it that I think they they, they had some interesting ideas. I'm really trying to be nice here. Like they had some interesting ideas. I don't think they're executed very well. If I be straight up, I don't I don't think anyone play tested this beforehand. If I just like just by looking at it, I feel like they really could have done well with an editor. An editor would have been amazing. They could have cut down, I think, half of the text in this book very easily. Um the artwork is what you would expect. I mean, from they seem to like this type of artwork, so you know that that's good for them. Um pfft, yeah, teeth out a blue job, man. Um would I would I play this for a live stream for taking the piss? Maybe. Honestly, at this point, I'm kind of bored by the idea of it, though. I, I, I feel like I would just like see after like an hour of this, I would be like, right, just turn this off. I'm, I'm going to bed. I'm, I'm done for the night. You know, I'm. I'm... Do you want to see? Hold on, down. Do you want to see who made it? No, I don't. Yes, you do. No. That's who made it. Yes, you do. <laughs> Uh, right, okay. Um, <laughs> so, so I'll go. So, you, you said teeth at a blowjob. So, here's what I'm going to say this thing made $298,000 okay. on Kickstarter. So, uh, right. over a quarter and of a million. Is, and this is the shit you guys give us, really. Yeah. I understand you put, I, I, this game could not be more anti hetero power fantasy, even if it tried to be go further. You, so, so making, so you could have made a game. That would have bridged the gap between us heteros and yield queers, but instead you just went LOL, fuck the straights, and decided to go full, like Twitter Tumblr esque on it. Um, you this this, this this game basically runs off two d six. That's this is a a basic RPG game yeah. where you roll two d six and extrapolate what happens via uh, a small chart. I I do feel like anyone could pick it up and play it though. I don't well. Vi- this game could have fit on a single fucking page. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where all this money went. Probably to your coke addiction, I guess. <laughs> but it didn't go in the art. Yeah, or it went to the wrong artist. Like this, this art is not going to appeal to everybody. This art is. Eh, it, uh, well, I think it appeals to the well, audience they want, though. This is the type of people well, that th- buy this, this sort of this, stuff. This, this this art is called Tumblr style for a reason. Yeah. And honestly, the the only good art in here is, is, is of the fucking scoundrel. Because right? somehow the scoundrel got, got, got past the fucking cringe. All right, let me get up the scoundrel then again. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, and then like I, I and I don't understand why you couldn't I the playbook is interesting, but you literally lock them into this where not even like there, 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 there's no because it says it's in space, right? Yeah. And there's clearly werewolves and tentacle aliens and shit, but there's no species. There's no there's no species or, or races in here. There's nothing to modify the playbook. Uh, you I, made you made two hundred and ninety eight thousand yeah. dollars, and you can't write four fucking races. Or let me grace. Let, let me let me let me guess here that in this book the term races and species is problematic oh, to do it, that, right? That actually, right? Is yeah. that what you're doing here? No, that actually yeah. Like that you would... guys couldn't go in and write write L O L folks with an X and make all your little folks characters. In this book, in the art you clearly show more than a dozen species of interstellar travel. You got octopus head people and Mimic stomach people and fucking space Japanese and um, that would have been I like, an awful lot. I feel like I feel like honestly well, well, for still, them to just explain it, well, well, it would have been a nightmare. Uh, well, well, still like at least then modify the fucking playbooks and make the make the character a little more unique. Now it's simply no matter what the fuck you are. Here's your playbook. Fuck you. Off you go. Yeah. And you can, uh, well, I, I, I guess I can choose what kind of plays I want. Yeah, I guess, but still not really the kind of customization that players want to have. <sighs> yeah, honestly, it, 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 you're too locked in. Like you know, uh, like I, where where did the money go? Like. Because, like, I, I know there's a lot, a lot of art in here and a lot of fluff text, but where the fuck did the money go? I mean, the format... Because this is... This is unbuttered toast. Like, yeah, it'll fill you up, but there's no, you're not going to enjoy it. Yeah. I don't... Like... Like... Like, it, like, like there's $298,000, and each playbook has two stat columns? Yeah. That's it? 
there's, there's, there's no point buy-in system. Hold on, is there point buy-in? I don't um, think so. I didn't. I didn't see any. Or, uh, yeah, but let's see. Nope, that's from who gets to narrate. It's all in narration. That's Jesus. Like, no. Okay, so the, the only ones Biner uses is fucking narrating. But like, you completely drop the ball on customizing classes and or I guess the playbooks not a single single species or race to be found that you can actually play with I guess you just make whatever the fuck you want but you're still locked in the same goddamn playbook. Yeah, I'm just gonna go out in here and say where where the fuck's the where where is the stats for the sex toys because like that that feels like that should have been a given <laughs> like just putting that out there like you know it, it's got a lot of uh, and the, Honestly, there's not really that much in the form of, like, erotica, you know what I mean? Like, when it comes to actually, like, bridging that gap, because that's what I'm going to assume. Like, this is this is an ERP system, you know what I mean? I'm going like, to assume that. Like, the, the thing, thing is, is, like, it's a lot of these, these scenarios of characters, right? Mind you, they took the time to write in the characters' pronouns, Zezer, D, Der, and you didn't... You didn't write what kind of race what kind of race species they are and make it a, pl a playable thing for the characters no the pronouns are more are more important like the the uh the uh the uh priorities are so fucked in this book like make sure every character who's named has their pronouns but let's not make a species or racist or folks list because fuck it we don't need that yeah. right am i right fellow gamers i feel like, like i feel like they came up with the name for the book before they worked anything else out and they just kind of went from well, there. Well, no, no, no. Like, like the, the, the name of the book's fine. I thought it was funny when I first, like, oh, yeah. that's pretty funny. Yeah. Because I, I was watching this Kickstarter. This is only, this only came out like 2021, 20, 22. Yeah, it wasn't long ago, so it wasn't I, I remember. Or 21? Tw tw was it 21? It was 21. Uh, yeah, it but been. it's like, but basically, like, I thought, oh, this would be pretty funny. I actually had high hopes for this fucking book and I was so fucking disappointed when this thing came out. Like, it's just, it's just. Why, <laughs> Garp? Who do you think like, would you put this as your game of the year? Would <laughs> this have been your? <laughs> what you've been waiting for the entire time? Like, I, I, I'm so glad you guys took the time to put your pronouns in your the team bio and had a fancy backsplash for it, but y'all couldn't write fucking species. Yeah. Or a more or, or more expanded out playbook. Yeah. Like, th this game, in terms of gameplay, is bone fucking dry, and you get you, you get an F, like. You get an F because this game, this game's boring. It's boring, you know. Like I, 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 I've, I've run two games of this fucking thing, and everyone was fucking bored because you can't like there's there's, 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 there's no flexibility in the system. Like, and, and we, and we, tried, and we tried to break it. Like we tried so hard to break it and make it work, and you are literally confined in a tight corridor. What are you gonna do? Like we, like we're trying to use daring to to make bombs and grace to like, you know make stuff and it, it's it's and it's like it's like ugh. mind you only using 2d6 was helpful i i guess but there are no damage stats that you, you just you just, you just uh, uh, use apply conditions yeah like I see. like there, there, there's no damage no hp there's just there is only conditions and the conditions are well do they have like, like i a, said before yeah. gaslighting do they have like a level of how many conditions it takes to defeat an enemy yeah like 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 certain things have certain conditions gotta be met Hold on, i'm trying to find one so what's your score it's, then give me your score so i'm 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 teeth out of blue job it, it's a fucking f dude like you guys <laughs> dropped the ball so hard you made a, a power fantasy book that's not even a fucking game in my opinion like you have the bare minimum to be a game even then you fucking suck at it like, God, i'm there 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 is not enough here i'm really tempted to like remake that it's like fuck it i'll do it myself i'm gonna make me own <laughs> me own thirsty story has me but it's like honestly see what we're thinking about it's like i'm not dedicating time to do this i've got other stuff look, that look, i would if be me if, if me made a game called parched hammer dykes we would destroy this fucking book all right i'm tempted i'm tempted um no, honestly, I'm, I'm not getting dedicated time to this. I, I, I am hella tempted. I, I I will make a, a book called called Parch Hammer Dykes, and I will destroy this fucking book uh, on dog, bro. I, on dog. I feel I feel like once the once this video is finished edited and I've uploaded it, I am I I hope I don't think about Thirsty Sword Lesbians for a while. I really didn't expect it to be. Well, I knew it wasn't. Yeah, I knew it wasn't gonna be great. It was so boring. Dude. Yeah. Like, like I was, I was hoping, like if I, if I read it again, maybe it will pop back up. No, it's just, just 
it's just like it's just, just it's just bad yeah and, like it's not for me there's no it's not like for me. i i i appreciate them trying to do like another kind of hp system using conditions sure yeah, that's a good I mean, try it's, it's, but the thing is i think is a lot of the bad guys in your scenarios don't have enough conditions they can take yeah i, I just gotta figure it out bro I feel like, well, again, it's a story-based scheme, so I'm going to assume they just say, oh, they, well, you know what I mean, just make it up. Like, I'm, And even then, they, they say that as much when it comes to the whole like narrative thing. Like, let the player just be like, yeah, I defeated them, I defeated that, I did this, I did that. Like, honestly, it's to the point where I don't know if I would bother, like, say if I was actually on this, I don't know if, I don't even know if you're supposed to use dice, if I'd be honest with you. I, I really don't know. I feel like you. I feel like honestly, you know what would have been better for this? Like a deck of playing cards. I feel like a deck of playing cards would actually probably work better than dice for a lot of this. Uh, honestly, Garp, I don't care. I'm, 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 I'm calling the video here. I don't even want to talk about this any longer. Um, I mean, like, for the same thing with me. Like it's, it's just an F. It's yeah, just, you, you failed. Like I, I saw what you're trying to do, and and all of you. Hold on, there's a team of. This is a team of one, two, three. How many four, people five, are involved? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one. A forty-one. It's not that that cannot be right. Well, Harry, the marketing manager did a bang of job. That's all I gotta say. Hold on, hold on. This cannot be right. So some say contributing author, some say stretch goal creator. I have no uh, idea. Uh, well, look, either way, there, there you go. That's a thing that exists. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this sucks. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I, I went into this. At least, like, like I, 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 you know what? And, I was kind of curious. And, well, and let's let, let's dot the R quick. Me and James don't hate gay people. All right, we'll take the piss out of you like everyone else. We will, but this this book sucks. This is an insult to gay people. If you if you want if you if you want to find gay people, check out my fucking Facebook clip. Let's go to yeah. them. Fuck. <laughs> like <laughs> this, like this book should be insulting to gay gamers. Like, <laughs> hey, hey, here's your here's your pandering lesbian book, you fucking idiots. Yeah, mm, pay us money. They get a cough up. How much is it? How much do they sell this for? Well, um, 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 the backers were like the backers were like fifteen dollars. I think is that for the PDF? Yeah, the PDF. All right, um, Evil Hub Productions. Let's see, hardcover. Oh, hardcover. It's not too bad. It's thirty thirty dollars. That's not too bad. You have to pay for gold twenty. Gold twenty. They're charging thirty dollars for gold twenty. Suck my dick. Pete, <laughs> suck my dick. There's no way you should be paying fucking thirty quid. Uh, Nate, no way. And honestly, let's be serious. I don't. I, I think this is the type of game that should be played in person. If you're going to get the most out of it, I think. Um. Like you know what that that's it. I I, I don't want to know anymore. I, this, this is this is depressing. Yeah. This is bad F F for you. So, so, hold on, what was this person's name? Sorry. Uh, scroll through your thirty fucking compatriots here. Oh my god. So sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, but like you know what we checked it out. Was, you know I I feel like I tried. Fuck this. Like Garbo. What what do you say? You want an F? This is a teeth out of blue job for me. Check the links down below. Garb, your book site, isn't it now? Finally out. Yeah. It's on Kofi. So, yeah. So, so, so my book has has species and races in it, which should be nice for yeah. people coming in. Do you think... But, how, yeah. how, how, so, how much uh, could you use Thirsty Sword Lesbians with veal lighters, though? You literally can't. This is, like... Trust me, we, we tried. <laughs> well, we tried to try and jailbreak this game into my, into the other game but while still in beta and you just can't because there's no kill conditions except for conditions well not gonna lie i think i think third sword lesbians would actually do pretty well with the gas station <laughs> after oh. cars <laughs> and, and, and i'm not even joking probably yeah and actually you know what so see if you want to if you want to work some like fucking lesbians after hours yeah lesb <laughs> if you want if you want to play lesbians after hours I think I got a product that would work well with this. Um, 
do I have a product for you? Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> and you know what? I actually do sell quite a few big teddy models, which you could use as lesbians. Very, very, like, you know, well, I don't know if they're lesbians, but, like, you can make them lesbians. Um, so that, that that's a thing. Um, links down below. I don't know where else to go with this. Um, not... It was, cr- it was cringe. It was gay. It was, it was yeah, it was gay. it was actually in fact one hundred percent gay. Uh, let us know what you think. Let's all, uh, like, do you guys want leading Citadel? I don't even know if I want to do leading Citadel after this. I want I want I want to kind of do books that I actually enjoy that people would actually get like enjoyment out of and would actually like play. Hopefully, I thought this was supposed to be funny, but it was just sad. Yeah, yeah, I would agree with that. I would agree with that. I I kind of I kind of thought we would get more laughs out of this, and in the end, I just kind of. I just kind of feel depressed. Anyway, let us know what you I think. Just feel yeah, I just feel depressed, man. Let us know what you think. All that good shit, and we'll see you next time.